Here at 6 o'clock, police in West Suburban Elmhurst are investigating two mailbox burglaries and they're warning residents to be on alert for fraud. WGN's Brona Tumulty shows us the damage that they left behind. Good evening, guys. One of those boxes that was busted open is right behind me here. You can see it is wrapped in plastic. And whoever ripped it open wasn't the slightest bit worried about getting caught because the post office is right over here. Yeah, I see, you know, the, the mailbox cover. I don't know what for. I was thinking maybe some construction from construction across the street. But I found out now from you somebody broke to it. Shimon Toom lives in Addison, but works at a doctor's office in Elmhurst. And right outside that office at First and Haven Road is a mailbox that looks like this, because police say it was ripped open and emptied. Someone reported that around 7 yesterday morning. Elmhurst police got the post office on the case and they checked other mailboxes around the city, finding a second one pried open on the east side of Cottage Hill Avenue between Perk and Adelaide Street. This one particularly brazen as it's right off opposite the post office itself. You know, I feel bad because Emmers, I know it's a very good town and safe town, but these days you don't know, everywhere is good and bad. Police believe both were targeted sometime between the last collection on Saturday after 4 o'clock and 7 Monday morning, saying if you dropped anything into either of them between that period of time, it may be in the hands of someone you never intended it to be. You never know. You never know, maybe some kids, some these days, a lot of kids playing, doing these things, they think it's fun. Yeah, but it's, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. It's not fun for everybody else. Yeah, yeah, that's right, okay. that's right. Now, anyone who placed a financial document or a check in either of those post boxes between Saturday evening and Monday morning is asked to either cancel the document or place a fraud alert on their account. And if you do notice any unauthorized charges going forward, please say you can also file an identity theft report at the station. We're in Elmhurst, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.